just arrived at the hotel so i thought why not give a quick hotel tour although it's pretty small so it will be pretty quick this is the view by the way so it's so beautiful it's pretty small hotel room uh, but it's still really modern let me show you the shower i really like the marble background and i'm also happy that they have a mirror as you can see i'm really tired i traveled for 12 hours i will be staying at this hotel for two days i'm going to the apartment tomorrow to pick up my keys it's so surreal to be here because i was just in the uber going to this hotel and i was looking outside and this is the first time of course that i visited washington dc so i didn't really know what to expect besides the pictures online of course but it's so green and I was like I cannot believe I will be living here for two years and I cannot really comprehend it that I'm here it feels like I'm just here for a holiday so something interesting happened at the airport today I got stopped twice at the security and the reason why I got stopped twice is because they found something in my backpack and looking back at it I get why they stopped me but it's just so weird because when i went from amsterdam to philadelphia uh, because i had a layover in philadelphia and then from philadelphia to washington dc but at the skirt in amsterdam they stopped me because they found something in my backpack this is what they found in my backpack it's a reflex hammer and i had to explain to them that the reason why i have a hammer in my backpack is because i'm a doctor and luckily i also have my stethoscope in my backpack so hopefully they believe me and then the same thing happened when i went from philadelphia to washington dc they stopped me again and i had to explain again why i had this in my backpack but luckily they were really nice about it because i only had to open my bag to show it i'm like okay this is the reflex hammer you probably were looking for <laughs> So yeah, so that's really interesting. So keep that in mind if you're going to travel with the reflex hammer, they will stop you. I'm now trying to find out where the White House is. I think it's like 10 minutes from my hotel. So uh, yeah, I'm just walking and the sun is going down in like 20 minutes. So I have to hurry up because of course it's my first day here, I'm new. So I have to be careful as well. I cannot believe that I already visited the White House two hours after I arrived in Washington DC. I don't know if you can hear it, but the police sounds because there are police everywhere in every single street because this is like 10 minutes from the White House. It makes me feel a little bit intimidated but also safe at the same time. And now I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and then I'm going to sleep. I think it's around 9.30 p.m. I'm going to sleep around 10 p.m. because I'm really tired and tomorrow it's a big day. Good morning, it is Saturday. It's currently 9.30 a.m. and I got dressed because I'm going to USPS to get a check for my apartment. I never work with a check, so I'm really curious. And I don't know why I'm shaking, uh, but I never got a check, so I'm really curious how that goes beautiful weather as you can see it's really sunny probably 32 degrees again i'm really excited to pick up my keys hopefully i won't get scammed because i already signed my lease and i haven't seen the apartment yet so hopefully it will look the same as it looks online but i will tell you guys once i get there Welcome to my small but lovely studio apartment. On the right side we have a closet. Here I will probably hang my coats and use it as a storage space. On the left side we have a closet type space where I'll be hanging my clothes but also a lot of other things because I don't have a lot of storage. Then we have my bathroom. This studio doesn't have a lot of storage space as I told you so I'm happy about the cabinet space. And there we have my lovely bathtub. Then we go back to the main entrance. On the left side, I will probably put my bed and then next to the window, a couch. Then we have the kitchen. I feel like they upgraded it. 
I really love the color of the cabinet. We have a microwave, a stove, an old dishwasher. I'm really happy about the window in this kitchen. We've got this lovely but old fridge, but it still fits a lot of things. Plenty of cabinet spaces. So I received my keys and I cannot believe that I'm in my apartment. So weird to stay here. I will be staying here for at least one year. I'm really happy it wasn't a scam. So that's good. I also have Wi-Fi because the service person just came. So I'm really happy that's the most important thing. That's the first thing that you should do when you move into an apartment, I think. Now I'm going to Target. I think I'm just going to buy like a air mattress because I don't have anything yet. So I'm going to buy an air mattress and all the other essential things. I just realized it already has an electric pump. I'm so stupid. So I have to return the other one. This is how it looks. I'm not done yet, of course. I still need like a pillowcase and a blanket and all those type of things. But I'm so tired that I'm going to do all those things tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. I have my basic life support and advanced life support tomorrow. In between, I'm going to go to Target to buy the other essentials. But I'm really happy that I booked the hotel for two days because otherwise I had to sleep here today. It is not ready yet, so I'm really happy that I still have a day to just relax and then come back tomorrow, finish the other essential things and then sleep here. It's the next day, it's currently 10 a.m. I'm going to check out of this hotel room. I'm going to miss this beautiful view, um, but luckily I have a really decent view in my apartment as well, so I can't complain. So I'm really excited to sleep in my apartment for the first time tonight, although I'm also a bit scared, I don't know. It's just so empty. So I just arrived in this apartment. I'm so happy. I have my luggage, I have my stuff, and now I can finally move in. I just came back from Target and as you can see my face is really sweaty because it's still 32 degrees outside, so I'm really struggling. But I will show you what I bought at Target. Well, it's not really that interesting. It's first of all toilet paper. That's one of the essentials. Next thing that I bought is a blanket. I think it's a living room blanket and I think it's also way too hot for this weather. But I didn't want to carry like this big blanket. I will probably order it on Amazon or something because I'm not going to carry it. But for now, this hopefully will do. The next thing that I bought are clothing hangers. I have a lot of clothing hangers at home. I should have just brought some of my clothing hairs to the United States, but yeah, now I bought new ones. The next thing that I bought for my air mattress is a sheet set, because that's also essential. I also bought trash bags. I don't have a trash can, but I will have trash bags for now. And I probably will order a trash can online because that probably is also way too heavy for me to just buy a Target. The next thing that I bought is one of the most important things, and that is scissors yes <laughs> because i knew that there will be a time that i wanted to open something and that i didn't have scissors so i bought it and the last thing that i bought are pillowcases also really important so i have to buy more i think those are only two pillowcases but i have to buy many many more things so it will come i also went to correct eggery and they sell eggs like their whole menu is eggs and i love that so I bought the, the basic, it's literally called the basic. So let me see, not bad. It's currently lunchtime, so I'm going to eat something. Then afterwards I have my basic life support slash advanced life support class. 